first store I chose to experience is the Mega Mart Meyer. Meyer began in 1934. A modest local barber in Greenville, Michigan saw a need. It was the middle of the Great Depression and groceries were scarce. Hendrick Meyer began broadening his business through the use of newspaper ads and fancy metal shopping carts. From the barber shop to now, Meyer has over 180 stores and employs over 160,000 people in five states. What began as a corner fruit stand nearly 50 years ago evolved into Westbourne Market, a family-owned and operated business dedicated to bringing the Detroit metro area the finest quality fruit and produce and delivers as many as they can from local farmers. The family believes shopping should be a truly unique experience. The three properties reflect the highest standards of cleanliness, functionality, and structural innovation. Inside the stores, the environment is unique and visually attractive. The first thing that grabs my attention as I enter Meyer is this piece of artwork and the green entrance to the store. Quickly after, I realize I have to navigate where I want to go to find the items I came to purchase. Before I even enter Westbourne, I notice the unique architectural design outside and am greeted with a brick walkway, foliage, and displays for fruit and milk outside the store. Produce meticulously arranged operates as the first view inside the store. Signage at Meyer is very simple. Most signs hang from the ceiling and provide direction and contents of each aisle. Signs at Westbourne create a type of reminiscence of the past and remind me of Norman Rockwell paintings from the early 1900s. Signage hanging from the ceiling has various themes throughout the store. Below this one is an arrangement of ingredients for an Italian pasta dinner. The logo at Meyer is simply its name and is on hundreds of products from toothpaste to tortilla chips, like the ones seen here. The logo for Westbourne appears to be either a chubby cartoon character with a mustache or a picture like I mentioned from the signs in the store with the Norman Rockwell feel. The ceiling at Meyer is high and flat with painted white structural supports and shows ventilation tubes running above the store. Lighting is provided by fluorescent bulbs that run the length of the store. Natural light is provided from windows at the front, near the cashiers, and from the entrance and exits. The ceiling at Westbourne is also high, but angled. The structural supports and ventilation tubes are painted black and wood planks line the ceiling at its height. The ceiling over places where shoppers undoubtedly engage in conversation with the employees such as the deli, meat and dessert counters are lower and provide the ceiling height variant suggested by Sasanka. Lighting is provided by multiple dome-shaped chandeliers, track and recess lighting, as well as natural light from windows and skylights. Merchandise is displayed in long wide aisles and on caps at Meyer. A wide selection is available as every product has a good, better and best choice. Due to the mass amount of traffic and yellow sales tags, shelves were often approaching empty and pallets of product occupied walking space waiting to be unloaded onto the shelves. Specialty counters had both opportunities to self-serve and to be waited on. Merchandise at Westbourne is displayed in very short aisles with a lesser selection, usually only a better and best. Aisles, however, are few as most merchandise is displayed on the turn of the century styled furniture such as tables, hutches, barrels, shelves, and pie safes. Specialty counters completely required the assistance of service staff with the exception of the buffet style salad counter and olive bar. At Meyer, the store sign is red with dots on the I and the J in blue. Red is repeated only in the uniform of the employee, but blue seems to be the predominant color for signs and tiles in the floor to indicate some type of aisle separation. There's also a blue painted line that runs around the perimeter of the store, with blue words such as butter and meat to indicate where the items are. Color at Westbourne seemed to be provided by the food and merchandise itself. Artwork at Meyer was limited as wall space was occupied by merchandise. However, there were pictures of food that didn't nearly replicate what was offered. The pictures of grass and clouds at each entrance were nice, but didn't seem to follow any theme throughout the store. 
Who could resist this edible art? From tiramisu to fruit-filled pastries. Like color, artwork at Westbourne was in the arrangements of merchandise and the food that was sold. I like this copper fish by the seafood department. Thought he was unique. Cashier's counters at Meyer matched the crowd of the massive store with up to 30 registers and four self-serve scan counters. When finished at Meyer, the shopper is thanked by the wall and makes their way to out to remember where they parked in the monster parking lot and out onto Telegraph Road. There were far fewer cashier's counters at Westbourne and no self-scan available. When finished, shoppers exit to the small parking lot that leads to Woodward Avenue and has them fast on their way home. Westbourne creates a unique shopping experience with a more intimate setting that could in many ways resemble home, while Meyer has a very corporate franchise feel, but selection is greater and cost is slightly less. The white walls and ceiling make Meyer feel even bigger than it already is, while the dark red brick walls and softer lighting are more calming to a shopper at Westbourne. I think that if someone is trying to hurry or looking for more elite ingredients, Westbourne is the way to go. However, if time and crowds are not an issue, but greater selection and lesser cost is, then Meyer would be the best bet.